So today I finally saw Chloe Shaw's Shaw, I hope that's pronounced correctly, The Writer, which premiered at Cannes last year, was nominated for a whole bunch of Independent Spirit Awards, um, and then played South by Southwest this year. I was unable to attend. And then it finally got a release here um, in America in April. And it's been at the Terra Cinemas for a couple of weeks, and I keep kept missing it. And it was still here this weekend, and I was like, woohoo, I'll go. Um, and I'm glad I saw it because it's a beautiful film. Um, it's sort of a docudrama almost in that it tells a true story using the actual people it happened to slightly fictionalized and with a new name. It's set in, uh, I believe, South Dakota, and it stars Brady Jandereau as Brady Blackburn. His father is played by his father, and his sister is played by his sister. Um, everybody else that interacts with him are played by real people, including a one-time rodeo star, Lane Scott, who is now in a rehab center after an, an accident that left him mostly paralyzed. Um, you also see uh, actual footage of both the real Brady and the real Lane in their rodeo heydays. Um, Brady Jandro is about 20 years old when they filmed this. Um, and he was a rodeo, upcoming rodeo star who uh, rode bucking, bucking Broncos and then um, had an accident, fell off one, it, it um, hit his head like the, the Bronco did and fractured his skull and he got a um, metal plate put in his head and then was told he was not supposed to ride anymore and he needed to rest and recuperate and he should no longer do rodeo. So the film starts after he's come home from the hospital and earlier than he was supposed to and then follows him trying to get back into his life trying to have a, a regular non-rodeo job trying to still sort of do what he loves which is working with horses um and trying to realize that he should find he needs his way of life that he's known has altered completely and coming to terms with what that means for him um, it's it's so beautifully shot. Uh, I never realized that South Dakota really looked so much like where I grew up. I grew up in Northern California, just below the Oregon border, also on the Nevada border in a county called Monoc. And it's my hometown's uh, motto was where the West still lives. Yes, indeed. And we had rodeo and we had cowboys. And I lived out by at the edge of town near the auction yard so I could hear all the cows coming in the night before they got auctioned off and then were turned into beef. Um, so I grew up in the West and my parents were not from the West. They're from Los Angeles. It's very different. But I grew up in the West and I grew up with, with boys who rode in the rodeo and who were cowboys. And I grew up around this culture, although not in um, obviously South Dakota and not uh, near and or on a reservation, but actually near a reservation. Um, so this felt very authentic, and, and obviously it would be use, using the location and people um, who are really from there and of there, and it's their story. Um, there was one moment that felt the most real to me, and that was when he's trying to um, calm a horse down who keeps rubbing his nose on a, um, a wire fence, and he has to put bag bomb on the, on the horse's nose. And like, oh my god, I know that Bag Bomb originally was from Vermont and it's for the cold weather, but like Bag Bomb is everywhere um, and it's got so many uses. <laughs> like everybody who lives in the West has a, a, a jar of Bag Bomb in their house, let me tell you. Um, seeing the Bag Bomb, I was like, oh, oh, that's a great moment. Um, so it, it really it uses Brady's true story in this recreation of it to... Um, both paint a portrait of the modern West, but also to explore what masculinity is in today's times and what the cowboy culture, ha the places in which it's not necessarily um, aligned with human nature. Um, you know, push through the pain is not exactly something you should do if you have a brain injury, for example. Um, and, and what happens when you have a talent and a purpose and something happens and you can no longer really do your favorite thing. Um, 
the moments with Brady and Lane Scott, I think, were the, some of the best moments because you see them, you see their friendship and how real it was, and you see um, each other seeing their their lost dreams, but also the moments that they shared with each other when they were at their um, peak and how they will always be able to have those moments together and, and it'll always be there. Um, there's also moments with his sister that are, are beautiful and wonderful. She's uh, has Asperger's syndrome and they don't really make it a thing, but it's there and, and you don't see a lot of that portrayed properly, let alone by someone who actually has Asperger's syndrome. Um, so that's always, it's always wonderful. Uh, I feel like there's one more thing I wanted to say about this film. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, so the whole sort of gist of the film, um, there's a moment where he has a, a horse, um, and the horse is injured, and often, you know, when a horse is injured, especially if it's the leg, the only thing they do, you can do for them is, is to put them down, because otherwise horses are miserable when their legs are broken. And there's this moment where he, where they compare what they've done for the horse, because its purpose is, it, it can no longer live through, through its purpose, um, to Brady and his, um, inability to ride anymore. And you see that and it's, it's sad and you see him then visit, um, his friend again and they'll, they'll continue to reminisce and you think, you know, that maybe they do have, they have lost their purpose, but then you see Brady as an actor and you're like, well, you're really good as an actor. So maybe you have another purpose which is sort of meta on top of the film um, because you know that Brady's playing himself, kind of. Um, will he want to make another movie? I don't know. Um, but he's just luminous in this film and, and his ability to um, broadcast really subtle but really deep emotions uh, is fantastic. And, and Chloe, Man Chloe Zhao manages to capture it so almost effortlessly. Um, it's, it's astonishing. So I, I really loved this film. I'm so glad I saw it in theaters. It's so gorgeously shot. Um, oh, I know. I also wanted to mention that horses do not like me. Um, having grown up near horses, I have tried my whole life to let, to like pet a horse. I have never successfully pet a horse because horses do not like me. Um, what did I do to the horses? I don't know. Do they, do they know that I'm afraid of them? Maybe I need um, someone who horses love to, like, introduce me to a horse. I don't know. But I have I've utterly failed in my ability to befriend horses in my life. So I'm glad other people are good with horses because they are great creatures. They just do not like me. Um, so this is Chloe Zhao as the writer. It's in theaters right now. It is fantastic. It's not like anything you've seen before. Um, you should check it out. You will be moved, I promise.